Hello, beloveds. This is Rachel here, the Modern Shaman. Thanks for joining me for yet another week of a YouTube video. If you're new to this channel, I always suggest that you uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, become a part of this community, get involved in any way, shape, or form that you feel is relevant for you. I have a lot of resources on my website as well. So if you haven't been there, that's themodernshaman.net and you can uh, connect with me there for personal sessions here in my office on that couch right there. Um, I'm in San Antonio, Texas, or you can just do this via Zoom and phone. I mean, you have clients all over the world now, so really there's nothing that holds us back from connecting nowadays. So if you wanna to go to the website, there's a lot of information there about sessions available, as well as if you'd like to strengthen your own gifts my masterclass teaching curriculum that I used to tour all over and teach is now available through online teaching modules. So again, there's never a better time to learn to develop your spiritual gifts and feel like you have a language to express with the non-physical world. Um, that's all available on the website as well. And that's also the place that you send in your questions. If you want to have a question of yours answered on here, go to there. Go to the very last page as a contact form. You fill it out and just say that it's a question for YouTube. And my assistant puts it in like a little file just for YouTube. I pull one out every week. So it's super easy and I hope that you guys connect with me. I love it. You know, a couple weeks back I did another um, Facebook Live. I hadn't done those in like years and I did another one. Just because I felt like I wanted the connection from the other side. I do these videos. So I really value when you guys write, you comment, you connect back from the other side. I feel your energy, but I love communication. <laughs> Clearly, because I'm sitting here talking. All right, enough about that. Let me read the question for today. Okay, hello, Rachel. Thank you so much for this channel. It has been a godsend to me. I wanna ask you a rather personal question. The war in Israel makes me so sad and afraid. And if I'm very honest, it makes me angry. When I watch TV and hear about how horrible it is, I get this deep churning in my stomach. I feel like I honestly can't even make a difference. It makes me feel helpless, hopeless, and angry. I wondered if you have any advice for what we're experiencing in Israel right now. Mm. Yeah. Let us just sit with that for a second. And let the energy of that kind of move through us. Changes the space, doesn't it? Okay. Whenever people, this is family members, friends, loved ones, or clients come to you, come to me and ask questions like this or a question that you know is asked with a total sincere heart with themselves laid bare, totally transparent and authentic and just sincere, just a plain speech, just, just someone sharing their heart and asking for help. The first thing I will always suggest to do is stop for a minute and breathe and let the energy of that move through you, breathe in, breathe out a few times and just align with that soul. Get connection. Mm. Okay. And I first want to say that I see you. And I feel you.
and as a light bearer on this earth when tragedy strikes of any kind I always ask myself how do I speak the truth without causing more suffering and that's delicate sometimes more than others okay when experiences like this arise and you find yourself watching the news be very conscientious of where you're sending your attention when wars arise there is always a force of darkness and a force of light. And it's important to seek out the forces of light within you and then amplify those out. And realize where your attention is contributing to the drama or the fear or the trauma energy. And you are letting yourself experience the trauma so when you're watching the news and seeing the suffering or hearing this don't let that stop you with the anger and the fear keep going and by keep going I mean keep opening your heart until it breaks open with compassion this is the fruit that you can access through suffering when you witness suffering when you feel suffering you are very close to compassion and empathy kindness love mm -hmm. And the qualities in you that recognize that we are all one. We are all connected because you feel what they feel. And you feel for them so deeply. So amplify the compassion of that. And the connectedness and the unity. Which is actually the polar opposite of the energy that the dark sides or the evil, whatever you want to call it, the negative polarity that drives war and separation. We are separate. We are against one another. Let the energy of what you experience break open the compassion that will actually heal by the opposite energy of realizing that I feel what they feel and therefore we are unified. We are all connected and then amplify, amplify, amplify this, emanate this to where that is the dominant vibration you feel every time you watch that video on TV, every time you hear someone talk about Israel. I feel connected to them. I feel at one with them. I feel shared compassion and love and appreciation for all of those that are suffering from this because both sides no doubt are suffering and let that suffering bring you into a space of love and if you can hold that meditate on that that meditation can be the amplification so when i say amplify i'm talking about it in energetic terms right the clear sentience the feeling of literally putting your energy out there like a megaphone like a wi-fi signal to where you can feel it just kind of like pulsing out of you right joy comes out of us like this where we just want to dance we just want to move we just feel so good the same is true when we feel compassion and care and empathy sometimes we just we just want to hug we just want to touch our heart we'll feel ourselves like naturally putting our palm chakras over our chest like oh my gosh i just feel so much and for you you mentioned your stomach 
you're just feeling that in your solar plexus. I will say as a caveat, a lot of the times when we feel this so deeply, it's because we've been a part of it in a past life. We are, and I said this in my last video, a very traumatized species. We've been a, through a lot of brutality over many millennia on this earth, and many souls have been in the midst of war through many previous lifetimes. And there's something in your gut, your soul, this is where your sense of self and your will, who am I, what did I come here to do? This is where it's held. So, so much of our emotional memory is triggered and held and stored there in the belly. This is why it is a huge intuitive center because our past life memory oftentimes is easily accessible by our emotional memory. When I look at past lives with people, I tend to go first to the strongest emotional node for them in that past life because it's the fastest connector through all of the energetic connections and quantum realms is through time, basically through space and time is the quickest connector point, our emotional memory. And when you have been vibrationally connected or experienced through that, you feel it all the more so. And I don't say that in a negative sense because when you have been through something, you are literally, think of a cosmic web, right? Like a spider web, you are literally connected to it. We are all connected. Think of string theory, right? Everything's connected. It's not even separate. There's, there's not even, like first, when we look through the lens of science, it looks like everything is not connected. When we go even further, we see that things are even more connected than we realized. Right? I don't want to get into string theory right now, but basically that's what I'm touching on. And because you have had vibrational experience of war in a past life, if that's the case, then you are vibrationally connected to that. And that means that when you heal from your own trauma, when you go through your own healing through compassion, through feeling peace, if this gets you in a trauma response, if you are seeing something on TV and you move into PTSD kind of trauma response, work on balancing your own peace. And that means literally get to a place where you emotionally feel balanced, right? To where your polaric sides, you don't feel, you feel almost like, um, I'm gonna say emotionally distanced, but it's really the sensation of peace in the muscles, in the literal bones and structure of the body, you relax into it. And when you're able to do that, it shifts the vibrational response to that nodule of war, right? Imagine like you're seeing, um, I, I'm seeing a nodule, but almost like a cyst, right? If you've ever seen a picture of a cyst inside the body and all of the nerves that are connected to it, um, or maybe it's a tumor or something like this. This is kind of what happens in our etheric body when we go through trauma. It's like a tumor there. It sits there and there's all these emotional. Now I say this happens in our etheric body, but it also happens in our collective etheric body, the oversoul. So all of the human species that has ever been connected to war, we have a human etheric body. Our planet has an etheric body, has aura in its field. So these nodules or tumors say war, right, is there and we have all these veins, emotional connectors to it that are like strings on a guitar, right, that have vibrational resonance to them. And we feel that and it shakes right to our core and our stomach. When we are feeling that and we shift our vibrational response to that trauma of war, that tumor in the etheric body, it literally begins to heal. So it sends a peaceful vibration. It sends the opposite polaric vibrational response to create harmony, right? Literal frequencies of harmony. This is sound therapy, but this is happening um, on a vibrational level all across the cosmos, all of the time. This is things are created through sound. So anyways, that is happening when you find peace within yourself, 
Remember, you are helping heal that traumatic tumor of war for all of humankind. So you do have purpose and hope and do not feel helpless. There is something that you can go through that you can do when you meditate to experience your own emotional residence of peace in response to this experience. And like I said before, also letting the visuals or the awareness, instead of stopping at anger, let it break you open into compassion and unification of all of humankind, feeling love for all of them that are experiencing suffering through this. And let it unify. And let it heal. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sign off here. Blessings. I'll be back with another video next week.